So here if you go for the next part of the discussion in uh, that is the concentration of the ore. In the concentration of ore actually we have uh, four methods are there uh, as, I, as already we have discussed earlier in the flow chart. In the concentration of ore as already we have discussed that is crushing of ore then uh, hand picking, froth flotation process and magnetic separation. Uh, among these four methods froth flotation process and the magnetic separation are the most important methods of the concentration of ore. Here if you go for the froth flotation process as already I told you froth flotation process is actually exclusively used for the purification of the mineral ore, the purification of mineral ore for pyrite mineral ores. So froth flotation process is the exclusive property of pyrite it is the exclusive property of pyrite mineral ores so this pyrite mineral ores as you can see in the diagram or as you can see in the figure here we take a long sized uh, vessel in that vessel we fill sufficient amount of water and we just take one small t shaped uh, uh, i mean blower uh, where it is punched with small holes and when through this blower a blower pipe we send compressed air into this blower pipe uh, after filling the uh, pyrite mineral ore after converting into crushed powder that crushed powder is filled with sufficient amount of water uh, this is filled with water plus pine oil water plus pine oil water plus pine oil this purpose of adding water along with pine oil is to create sufficient amount of foam or froth this foam or froth is nothing but the plenty of soapy nature that means lot of uh, bubbles will come out in the form of a soap solution so as the foam and froth the level keeps on increasing when when we are trying to blow the compressed air into this blower pipe more and more amount of oxidation takes place more amount of aeration takes place inside and you find all the froth and foam uh, coming in the upward direction moving in the upward direction as the foam and froth froth moving in the upward direction you find all the purified uh, purified mineral ores mineral ore particles of the pyrite mineral ores they come to the topmost region of the vessel and any any impure particles are there because of their uh, higher density because of their higher density in the particle size the impure particles they stay back they deposit at the bottom of the vessel and the ore particles which are lighter which have lesser density they move in the upward displacement and they are finally skimmed off or they are decanted off from the vessel in this way the impure particles the impurities of the mineral ore particles and the purified ores of the pyrite ores they are separated through this method because of their difference in the size of their density or their size of their particles if you go for the magnetic separation the advantage in this magnetic separation is in the magnetic separation we take two electromagnets these two electromagnets are fitted with the rolling belt and we take a small funnel in that funnel we take the crushed uh, iron ore the crushed uh, mineral ore usually we take oxides of iron because the oxides of iron if you take the impurities the impurities of the oxides of iron it contains non magnetic impurity if because it contains non magnetic impurity the non magnet the crushed mineral ore when it is rolling over the moving belt that's rolling belt you find that all the magnetic particles of the mineral ore they form a separate heap here they form a separate heap and uh, all the non magnetic impu impurities they try to form another heap they are separated through certain distance in the non magnetic impurities usually here the best example is you can take here the best example is you can take that is Fe2 O3 hematite Fe2 O3 hematite hematite which contains impurity impurity is tin stone SNO2 tin dioxide particles small tin dioxide particles are acting as impurities these impurities they separate out from the oxides of iron and they form a separate heap in this way because of the difference in the magnetic nature and non magnetic nature in the particles of the uh, ore particles and the impure particles the impure particles are separated in the form of separate heap and the magnetic particles of the mineral ore they form another heap and this is how we can successfully separate the ore particles from the impurities in the electromagnetic separation and these two methods are very very important so the next topic under our discussion is extraction of crude metals extraction of crude metal from the mineral ore so here extraction of crude metal from the mineral ore metal extraction metal extraction 
from or is directly proportional to its reactivity first point second point the method of method of arranging metals in uh, decreasing order of reactivity the method of arranging the metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity is called activity series of metals if you go for the highly reactive metals highly reactive metals highly reactive metals like that is sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide balance the equation take uh, two oxygen so take two here take four here solid sodium oxygen gas sodium oxide solid similarly you take calcium solid plus oxygen gas gives rise to calcium oxide solid so take two over here and take two over here take two over here and take two over here similarly if you go for aluminium aluminium also being a solid it reacts with oxygen to form aluminium oxide solid likewise iron reacts with oxygen to form Fe2O3 solid zinc reacts with solid to form zinc oxide solid so all these are moderately reactive and highly reactive but if you go for the inert metals noble metals like gold silver platinum you can just see that uh, gold silver and platinum if you pass oxygen uh, no oxidizing no oxidizing reaction that means they are low reactive low reactive they are low reactive metals so some reactions they do not undergo they, they cannot react with the oxygen and the chemical reaction is not possible so here gold is stable silver is stable and platinum is stable and when they are treated with oxygen they cannot give any kind of oxide of the metal so it indicates that these metals are low reactive but however if you take sodium calcium aluminium iron and zinc because of their moderate reactive nature and the highly reactive nature they are readily able to give their respective oxides so in this way by analyzing the by analyzing the reactivity of every metal when it reacts with oxygen and formation of products we can say we can we can then decide uh, in what method we can extract the metal in its crude form